This is Corolla Digital. Welcome to Hammer and Nails with Skip and Allison Bedell. Oh, yeah. Here we are. (laughs) (laughs) hello hey and thank you for coming back to hammer and nails they actually came back yeah i'm here you're here i don't know if anybody else is here i had nothing else to do so i just Uh, got off of work and i was like all right yeah i know i was like you better sit down yeah i'm allison bedell i'm skip bedell and And over there in your arms is mr kilo bedell yes kilo bedell is in my arms and my little papoose you got the papoose. Yeah. I'd like you to carry me around on that thing one time. Let's, let's just see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. You're far too heavy. Yeah. I've been trying to uh, sew using my new sewing machine to make new ones for all kinds of weather. Yeah. This one's made out of Yeah, fleece. even like uh, like, like yeah. Holly Hobby lately. You right? know what? I That actually... Like the Susie Homemaker with the, with the sewing machine. You know machine why? And shit, baking cookies. Are you like nesting right now? Is it like wintertime? What's going on? You know you? why? <laughs> what? It's the pellets. It's the pellets. Oh, yeah. You get your hormones kicking in. Yep. It's cranking. the hormone pellets. I don't know if for new listeners who uh, don't know what I'm talking about, I think probably about like 20 episodes ago or no, so. Not that long. Yeah, it was. It really? was a long time ago. Yeah. I, we were talking about the natural hormonal pellets that Lynette Corolla was taking or is getting. Um, they're like implanted under your skin and they are made – it's like hormone replacement therapy. You get your blood drawn and you get it analyzed at, to see what you're deficient in. Right. And, you know, because really there's a whole lot of – There's all kinds of All hormones. kinds of Testosterone, symptoms. Testosterone, estrogen, yeah. all kinds all of things. And all types yeah. of vitamins and things that you might be deficient in. And so really for, I was feeling – I you know, I, I have depression and, and I wasn't feeling motivated and I, and I wasn't feeling like um, – I was just sluggish and my memory was failing and just like, I don't know. I just felt like shitty when I shouldn't be shitty. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, I got nothing to be depressed about. Yeah. I was going to say. Everything. Fuck yeah. But I, like about. I knew, I knew. You have an like, awesome husband. Exactly. Right. I mean, like, no, I know that it's like a chemical need? thing. You know what I mean? And, and I've said this to many, um, defendants that I've interviewed, you know, who are, who are like embarrassed to talk about their, um, their problems or whatever. But you know, it's, it's a, it's a, chemical thing you know what i mean it's nothing to be ashamed of if you have your uh your shits off in your head you know and you got problems or whatever yeah if your shit is off you definitely gonna want to get it back on. yeah you know so some i you could take antidepressants and some that works for some people but there's also a lot of side effects from that all right some, so you got you got the the so i got the i got the pellets that, right. yeah so the pellets are um lynette just can't say enough about it she had found out about it from dr drew dr drew told her i think his wife does it Lynette does it. She got the nanny to do it. Um, and they're all like, it's the best thing ever. So everybody's all revved up and horny and ready to go. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> you got I, energy. Yeah. You want to, you want to screw, yeah. you want to do everything. Yeah. I got mine implanted wow. in September. So now we're wow. into November and it's like, it's like the last week or two, it's mm-hmm. just started kicking in that the, the part of me that was like not feeling motivated and feeling just like, I don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel like starting anything that that's gone that is gone i get i got home today the first thing i did was yeah, you're i like, changed you're the like sheets running around the house you're like yep. doing all kinds like everything yeah like all the stuff that wasn't getting done now is getting done yeah you're like a, a, a whole other story yeah. going on because like, I, I just keep thinking what 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 can i get done now yeah, what you're can i get baking done now like every day uh-huh. right you're like making cookies by the way this, how, how are those new those that were those new ones that they're i just really made good. they're like i'm enjoy yeah, cookies you gotta stop making this shit though, but they're all I'm natural trying, and yeah, healthy and I know no they're sugar all natural but the problem is i eat 20 of them so like I you know, know is, it could be a natural cookie I can but hide like them too much of anything is i can hide them if you like what's the point of making them then i can make less i can make less People, uh, first of all, I have the best oatmeal uh, cookie recipe ever that I had put on our website. Hey, we have a website. Um, oh, yeah. What is it called? Uh, Hammernailspodcast.com. And uh, on there you can get the podcast player. And also you can see the episode summaries and links to the products that we talked about. And on there, if you look under Allison, um, my, I'm at the top of the menu, there is a <laughs> What's thing. What's my name again? Yeah, it's a, I know. I, I know. It's like I got Kilo Squirming right here. If you look there, it says uh, my latest obsession. And there is my sweet potato method 
which you need to do because now it's going to be um, Thanksgiving very shortly. And so I sent Skip out today, and he went and picked up about uh, 30 white sweet potatoes. If you have white sweet potatoes in your grocery store, you need to buy those and then go onto our website and look at my baking method because I can guarantee you you've never had a better sweet potato. It's like anything you've ever known. And the, uh, my cookie recipe is there. You know but I've also got, be so good. Yeah, I know. It's like fucking candy. And then um, I also got the uh, the it's cookie like, recipe up there. I got new like, cookie recipes. For those of you just tuning in for the first time, Allison says fuck a lot. So it's like it's like fucking candy. Everything. Is, like, fuck any everything. Kind, any kind fuck of candy everybody. is good, but fucking candy must be really it's, good. It's an, it's, it's an emphatic word. I mean, if you put word. fuck in front of anything. It's, it's fucking it's, emphatic. But if you put fuck in front of anything, it's got to be better. I mean, it's just, it is. Yeah. It's an it's, adjective. It's a verb. It's a noun. It's all of that. It's uh, yeah. It's everything. All right. So you're baking. You're cleaning. You're doing stuff. Yes. You're, you're like a, you're like an animal in the bedroom. You're so like, you're just, yeah, people. All this stuff's going on. People right? like, should look up the natural, like the hormonal pellets. You just it, it's blew actually right over the bedroom part there, didn't you? Like, oh, did you say bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's my favorite part. Yeah, I know. Hell, the cookies. Man. It also enhances your libido. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're baking more cookies, and I'm getting more of that cookie. That's very mm-hmm. clever. <laughs> Very clever. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god! That's my favorite you're cookie like, right there. You're like a dog in heat. I am. I know. Um, but look at you. What do you expect? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Um, yeah. So you have been working. Um, oh, good. You got god. this new job. You're doing demo. Oh. And as a result, oh. you um, you did you didn't stretch before you started your demo, and yeah. now you're ba- you're back. Your back is fucked, basically. <laughs> My back. He was in fu- bed for the last well, two days. Well, my back. First with my heat, back, then right, with ice. So my back was fucked. I, I think it was like, for those of you who have ever like thrown out your back, like who even knew that was a thing until you did it? And then you're like, oh my God, what just happened? And then you're laid up for like two weeks and you wonder like, what the fuck is going on? Mine started not with, you would think it would be with all the crazy weightlifting I've done all my life and wrestling and MMA and like motorcycle accidents and everything under the sun that could have gone wrong with my back. I injured my back when I bent over to pet my dog one time when I was like a teenager. I injured I, my back taking a crap and pushing. <laughs> pushing! You about blew my back right the fuck out. For the first time? Yeah. That was, no, that, that wasn't the first time I blew up my back, but that is a way that well, yeah. or a sneeze. No, once your back goes out, though, for the first time, you're always, I mean, it's oh, yeah. almost like it's, it's a weak point in your body. Yeah, like, for the rest forever. of your life, it's always yeah. like, when is it going to happen so again? So at the time how? when mine went out, I was in the midst of like competing as a natural bodybuilder. I was like in my. Late teens, early twenties, I think. Oh, good job! Oh, Let, let's God, do, I let's did do it again. this again. Sorry. Wow. All right, everything's on me. Really? I know. I'm like. What I'm is just... this like? The like the tenth pod in a row? You can't shut your phone off. I'm sorry. So you're baking. You're doing all this other shit, but you can't remember to shut the fucking phone. Well, off. that's because I've only been on it like a couple months. I need, you know, and it's like not fully kicked in. <laughs> you need to do some more pellets. I, yeah, I might. <laughs> Maybe one more pellet, and you'll remember to shut your phone off. I have to get retested off. again next month to check all my levels because I might need to get more. You know, to, and also it's, they ask you, you know, are, how you're feeling and if there's things that you were hoping to be feeling that you're not and right. they, they can increase it. So right. uh, let me get back to my backstory. Okay. So I'm like <laughs> 19, 20, I think, when it went out the first time and in, in the crazy shape I, I could ever imagine to be in, right? And I just bent over to pet the dog. That's it. That's all I did. And it was a big dog. So it wasn't even like all the way down on the floor. It was yeah. like, you know, like a Rottweiler. It was a big, big dog. So I just bent over a little bit. Uh-huh. And even in the best shape I've ever been in, all of a sudden, like, pop. Oh, I remember. That's, that's what happened to me the first time. I was in the shower. I felt the pop. And I was, reach, I was done with the shower, and I kept the, the towels on the toilet right outside the shower. So I bent over to pick up the towel, and I felt that... It was like a twang of like a guitar string. Yeah. That's what it felt like. Yeah, well, that was that was your muscle from your lower <laughs> back to your ash cheek just basically just yeah. snapping off. Yeah, pinched a nerve. <laughs> and I was on my way to an interview that day. Um, this was like probably about 20 years ago. I was, I was in, yeah, I, I was in my teens. Get that I, I was in my teens. It was about 20 years ago. I was in my young teens. Yeah, right. and, um, and I remember, and that had never happened to me before. So, by, 12. so about, yeah. <laughs> I was like 10. And then like a few hours later, by the time I drew, it was like an hour drive. I, I did this interview and I remember trying to get back into my car. I, at the time I had a Mitsubishi You actually went Eclipse. to the interview? Yeah, because I didn't know it was going to come. Like as far as my back. Uh, I didn't. It was the first time that I had ever pulled out my back. And oh, I got, so, so, so you pulled it, but then it didn't start hurting you yet. It you, didn't. It didn't swell. Like I didn't get anything. Like it, it, uh, it was the first time. Uh, I didn't my, know what was going to come. Mine was totally different. Mine, like when it, when it popped... 
I went to my knees on the floor, and that was it. I felt this thought like someone had stabbed me in the spine with an ice pick. And then something I never felt before in my life, and I couldn't stand up. Mm. And I was like, oh, God. And my father, well, that came my eventually. dad, like, came over to me. He's like, oh, what's wrong with you? What are you doing? And he went to pick me up. He went to, like, grab ah. my arm and help me up. And he's like, oh, don't touch me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It was the craziest thing yeah. I ever felt in my life. I remember. Like, well, I had a Mitsubishi I was, Eclipse. like, horizontal was... for, like, a week at least. I mean, I couldn't that, move. That's what happens. Oh, I yeah. had a small car, and I couldn't get into it. Yeah. And then it was also stick shift. So I had to like use both of my oh, legs yeah. to get home. It was like an hour away. And then I, for two weeks, I was at a commission for two fucking yeah, weeks yeah. in bed. Yep. It it's was bad so news. So awful. for anybody who's ever had a back problem like that, you know what we're talking about. And there are certain things that over the rest of your life rest that, of your will, fucking that life. will aggravate it. And I mean, how many times have you just sneezed or yes. coughed or like, and then you're like, oh, God, oh, or pushed. oh, God, oh. Yeah. And a I, sneeze also. A sneeze is horrible when you've got that. Because you just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, and so, so every sneeze, you're frightened. So, so my back's been good for quite a while now. I mean, I mean, since I've known you, I don't, maybe it gone out like a couple one, times. It yeah. didn't really fully blow out. It just like was a little yeah. irritated, a little tightened up, right? So the other day, I'm starting this job. It was the first day on the job. And we have, we're basically doing a whole house renovation, like both floors of the house. We're ripping this whole place of the studs. There's a lot of demo going on. And I got more involved than I know, usually do. I mean, I actually don't, I don't mind. I like doing demo because I, I like breaking stuff. So it was kind of fun to you know be ripping all that stuff out. But as all the guys are kind of feeding it out the door and going to the dumpster and all that, you're picking it up and you're putting you know putting it in yes, a bag or you're putting it in a dumpster. Yes, it's up so it was and down like, and up and just, down. So I, I didn't feel like by the end of the day it was a really long day, maybe like a 10, 12 hour day. By the end of the day, I'm like, oh, my back's getting a little tight, but it wasn't like, oh God, you know. Yeah. We went out that night, mm -hmm. right? And the next morning, yeah. I got up, and it was a combination of being a little bit hungover, <laughs> yeah. and, and a lot of my back, like, oh yeah. no! And when yeah, you when you bad. first pull out your back, the thing that you need to do well um, first, moist heat helps a lot, but also. Ice packs help a lot. See, there, so what they there's say, like there's that whole thing, yeah. right? People are like, well, I don't know if you should use heat or ice. I think you're supposed to use ice first because you want to keep the swelling down because when you pinch a nerve, it starts to like really um, blow up. But I think when you sprain an ankle or something like that, right? You're supposed to also use ice first. Yes. But the but as I find that the ice helps, you know, sometimes yeah, nothing fucking helps. Swelling, but right. as far as reducing the pain a little bit. And also, the, the, the has to be moist heat, though. You have to get one of those wraps in the store, like when you put it in the microwave and it gets really moist. Moist heat is unbelievable. It also helps a lot. But, like, even fucking drugs don't help when you've got that nerve pain. Yeah, it's I've bad. done um, acupuncture, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I you tried you've done, Yeah, you yeah, did yeah, yeah. Yeah, Not for your back. Yeah. I've done it for my back. There's this one fucking spot over your, like, ass cheek. <laughs> my right ass cheek. It's like oh, at the it's top. Right. Right. When they put that needle into this spot in your ass cheek and your whole body is like electrified. It's yeah. like, it, it's fucking yeah. shocking that one thing. That, that oh my shocking. God. Yeah, well, you know what? I've done that and acupressure. I went to one acupuncturist once and she was this Asian lady, like, I think she was Chinese, but like very Chinese in that like she, that, that was her primary language. <laughs> she was very Chinese. No, I mean Chinese. like she was like really from China. She wasn't like a Chinese American. Like she was from China. Right. And you know, like, and just like every, every job, you know, there's some that are really good and some that aren't. So you can't really say that, well, I've had acupuncture before and it didn't work for me because you might've gone to a shitty acupuncturist, you know, right. just like everything else. This particular chick, I walked in there, bent over. And I left there standing up straight wow. and without pain, wow. and it was unbe fucking leaveable. And and it you, you know you're supposed to go like like every day or every other day, you know. And I never I didn't really follow. So I'm through. trying to figure out just the opposite. When you walk into the room and you're standing up straight, I you want <laughs> I want to try to figure out how I can get you to bend. Down. So maybe I should take you to some acupuncture lessons. <laughs> oh, you oh, rock a bend over. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you a happy ending. <laughs> So, so my back blew out, right? I mean, not totally out, but I was like, it was hurting me. Was yeah, so you've been me. in bed all weekend. And yeah, I've well, been, I just wanted to rest it I've because, been your nurse my, because I knew that this week was going to be, starting today, it was yeah. going to be back on full-blown crazy, everybody on the site, plumber, carpenters, electrician, everybody's showing up. Everybody's like, what, where are we going? What are we doing? And I'm like the maestro of the yeah. orchestra. So it's like, I got to be there, right? So... Yeah, we are rested for uh, for the weekend. You have and, to have also I, one more I, I thing. It. You have to have a belt. You have to get yourself a No, I'm saying like I'm just telling people like if they do this with their back, yeah. it helps immensely if you get 
a back belt, like a lumbar support belt yeah. to support your belt because your body, because when you're bent over like that, now yeah. you're using other muscles in your back and in your, your thighs and your hips you to hold what, yourself you up. You know what's different this time than I haven't experienced before? Usually it's in my lower... If like, you if you show me better, you can actually completely get off the microphone. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah. Just let, lean let, right let me, let me just stand up, turn around, I'm going to bend over, I'm going to back my ass right up to your face, mm-hmm. and you tell me what you think. Yeah. All right, smell so, it. so yeah, smell it. <laughs> so what? Like usually, if you would uh, run your finger down my spine, it's like right about at my belt line, maybe a little bit below, the, just just before the top of my butt, but to the right side of the spine, right, like right in that corner, right there. And it right goes there. down your ass cheek, right? No, well, that's it. This time, for the first time, something different happened. I'm getting almost like like it's like electrical impulses. Like that's why I asked you this morning to put your hand. Put your hand over my cheek. Yeah, no. Pull my finger. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) no, because I woke up this morning and I was feeling almost like a fluttering. Like if you were to take, you know, like when you like when you flick, like when you take your finger and you flick something, right? If you were to do that, but like to the back of my my hamstring and my butt cheek, and it was just like a bunch of little impulses, like uncontrollably just like happening like little electrical like the nerves are just firing in there and my muscles are just twitching like crazy from my butt all the way down to my hamstring i'm like what the hell is that sounds like you need medical attention it's been happening all day yeah all day so i don't i don't feel the pain like i did but i'm feeling all these like this little like like bubbling going on you have to make sure that you keep taking the uh like the advil the anti-inflammatories We have like narcotic pain relief, but you can't do that and then go to work and then work no, with like. No, man, I'm working power tools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so that's out of the question. I'll drive the fucking bobcat through the side of the house. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Yeah. You know what? I used to get that pull out what my back a lot more when I was heavier. That was also a big it, it'll thing. It'll fix the pain in my back, but I'll come home with like only one arm. <laughs> so I'll Asshole. Chop my hand off or some shit. You too, yeah. though. Did you know? Like you were heavy. Didn't you? Did you have back problems more when you were fat? Well. Uh, yeah, when I when I gained some weight like years ago, I told you it was one year or so that I got like you know uh, heavier and um, yes, my my back problems were happened de- all the were, time. Were my boobies were giant. Were definitely way worse when I was heavier. Yeah. Absolutely, that's yeah. why my uh, the uh, health insurance back in uh, back in the day, nineteen ninety eight, they paid for my breast reduction. Because I, yeah, I had like, like an established two, history. Two oh God, them. they were so <laughs> heavy. They were triple D, but they weren't just like big. They were fucking heavy. They were like, really dense. Like, you know, like when you're young, everything's hard and, you know, nice and young. And then you get oh, old, it's all soft and loose and young, droopy. <laughs> <laughs> droopy titty. <laughs> Thank God I got that reduction though, really. Because like that was the best thing. Because it took all that weight off of my chest. And then I could finally, fuck that. you know, they didn't have D cup bras in Victoria's Secret back then. What? I could not shop in Victoria's Secret because they did not carry over a C. Your bra, your up. bra cup, like I could take it and put it over my head. It's now, like, yeah, well, cool. yeah, but now they carry up <laughs> to triple that. D. It's they, like a yeah, hat. they have everything now. But back then, I wasn't able to shop there. I had to, I, yeah, I shopped in Lane Bryant for my bras, like the oh. big, the wide strap on your shoulder, like big grandma bras. Oh yeah, yeah, they were awful. Did you wear like the girdle and like the whole? The whole like no granny panties. No, I never. I was like the fattest chick in a thong <laughs> ever. What? Yeah, <laughs> really. I always, yeah, I always wore wow. a thong because you know when you think about it, if you have, if you wear regular underwear and you're walking, your underwear inevitably, well, women's underwear, I should say, because men's are shaped differently, they're lower on the thigh, but inevitably you're going to have your underwear in your ass. So you can either have like a whole wide ass full of underwear stuck in your ass crack. Or you can have just like that little tiny thing that goes up your ass crack wearing a thong or a G-string. Yeah, but I, I mean, chose if, if you, the latter. If you got like a big jello ass, I mean, you would think What's like... That, it doesn't like, matter if it's like, jello or I'm not. I'm just saying like if, if it's real... I mean, you, you said it was really big. I mean, I know what it looks like now. It looks, it's not at all. It looks great. It's nice. It, was, I, it was bigger. All right. But either way, if you're wearing regular underwear, like women's underwear, you know, go up a little bit higher on the ass cheek or the thigh area unless you're wearing granny panties. And it ends up in your ass. And then, and then you, you can tell if somebody's wearing jeans, you can always fucking tell if they're wearing regular underwear because you can see like the lines of the bottom of it and that like that little cotton middle area, like the little half moon, you know what I mean? Like in the back. I fucking hate that, girls. If you guess- can see the underwear through your pants, do not wear underwear or get yourself a G-string because it looks stupid. Get you Just a like G-string. when guys tweeze their eyebrows, it's the same fucking thing. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. baby. <laughs> you look that G so crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, I just banged the table. I hope it didn't. Fuck Again. Me. Sorry. <laughs> Stop banging. Everybody the table. was on my side. 
ass episode because all that banging I did that you were bitching about. I know it's going to be on an episode. It wasn't. So what about all that banging I did? Anybody say anything about that? You are so stupid. <laughs> you are like... Listen, just don't bang your you hands on the table. You are far too old to be cracking jokes like an 11-year-old. Oh, my God. All right, so listen. So the back thing actually... Today wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I put the belt on. I did my whole thing. I was Hold able to work. Up good. Yeah, I was able to work through the whole day. Now, one of my top guys, Brian, who's like a thirty-year pro carpenter, the guy's just a best carpenter I've ever seen. He wears this. You know, we all have big tool belts on, and they're heavy. I mean, after they're loaded up with tools, you probably got like thirty pounds around your waist. Mm. Which, by the way, the other day when Hello? I was doing, yeah doing Hello? demo the other day, fucking radio with the yeah. big battery, yeah. fucking fully fully loaded magazine. You got sixteen rounds inside of a gun. Yeah. Plus, plus you got the fucking expandable baton. That's fucking heavy. And then you got an extra magazine full of another fifteen fucking nine millimeter rounds. Yeah. That shit is all heavy. Double handcuffs. Yes. Yeah. That they're metal spray. But you know what? I get the asp, a s p, not ass handcuff. Asp handcuffs. They're uh, like they're aluminum. They're very lightweight, but they're um they're, they're like they're much higher quality than the than the shit that they give you on right. the job. Right. So your belt is heavy like my belt. Yes. But very fucking heavy. What some guys do, I just can't get with it though, is that they wear like have like a suspender rig that goes over their shoulders mm. and it kind of holds the weight of the belt on your shoulders rather than. And on are they the like waist. rainbow suspenders? No. No, 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 I'm not doing that. No, thank you very much, but no, um, no, they're they're all the, different the kinds. They're all different kinds, and I I don't know. I just I can't I can't get with it though. So anyway, did he wear it? Uh, no, he okay. doesn't. But he had suggested it that he knows a lot of people that do, oh, and okay. he was saying that you know that you ought to try that because it would really work, you know. So anyway, I work pretty much all day today without a belt, which hardly ever happens. I'm always the guy yelling at all my guys because I'm telling everybody, put your damn belt on. I don't care what you're doing unless you're working inside of a finished space. Like we're walking around like inside of a bathroom or a kitchen that has finished cabinetry and we're, we're there, you know, we're there to do something else other than finish work and you got your big tool belt on, then I want it off because I don't want you banging into anything and scratching the walls up and all that stuff. But if we're like at this stage of the job, demo and framing and all that, Put your belt on because if you don't have your belt on, that means every time you need to go get something, grab another tool, grab your pencil, grab your tape, you got to walk across the room. You do that a hundred times on the course of the day and you cost me money. So put your belt on and have all your shit in it. Right. But it gets heavy. So today, I was the one dude that didn't do what I always say to do. <laughs> I didn't have my belt well, yeah, on. That's your job. But yeah, so I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't need that. I kind of just navigated today and that was good. And the good news is I went through the whole day and my back is still okay. Oh, no, it's good. Thank God. But yeah, I still got that bubbly butt thing going on, man. There's something, there's something happening, some fluttering. It takes like, like a couple of weeks before you get all better. Again. You know, like if you have like a fluttering in your stomach? So picture that like in your butt cheek. That was like when we first met. Oh, yeah. It was like the flat. My, I had like chest pains. It oh. was like, ah, oh, it's oh, such a yearning. Chest pains doesn't sound so no, good. No, like right in the middle, you know, like when you're just like, oh, God, you're like, oh, it's like falling in love and you're just mm. like, oh, my God, it fucking hurts in your That's chest. That's good stuff. Like, yeah, just like, oh, God, it hurts. Yeah. I had to get him. <laughs> mm. And you did. I did. Oh, my God. So everything else uh, today, it went went pretty well. How about you? How was your day? Um, Pretty good. I interviewed um, a guy today, three robberies at 7-Elevens. <laughs> stellar he, citizen. Yeah. He was, um, his crack uh, habit was getting out of hand, so he... Went to three different. He decided that he wanted to rob the the Seven Elevens, and uh, <laughs> first he uh, he goes in there and he, and he and he goes to buy a banana and he was waiting for the cashier to open the register, you know, to put the money in and he was gonna reach over and grab the money, but he handed them like however much it cost, like and I guess it was the exact amount, so they never opened the register, like they just. <laughs> <laughs> He was hoping they'd get some change, and he'd reach over and snatch all the money out. The dumbass gave him the exact amount. <laughs> like, all right, thank you, sir. So then he uh, leaves, did, and then he's like pissed. Uh, did you need a receipt? Like, yeah. like why are you still standing yeah. there? So then he gets pissed. He goes outside, and he gets his tire iron. Awesome. I know, so fucking stupid. And then he gets his tire iron, and he goes back in. And I said to him, like, you know, did you display any weapons? He's like, no. But I'm reading in the report. Like, it says he brought in a tire iron. I'm like thinking, like, okay, so... 
You're going in there asking for money. You've got a tire iron in your hand, and you don't consider that a weapon, but okay. So, uh, but he well, used that, that it. stuff we use. They, they he didn't it, like, use it to hit anybody. He used it to pry open the register. But that could be considered a deadly weapon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course. Yeah, especially if you're, you know, you're you're telling somebody that you're you're robbing the place. So, had he used that to threaten someone or or hit somebody right. with it, then it would have been robbery with it with a uh, with a deadly weapon. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, the charge. He didn't he didn't threaten somebody with the weapon, but he displayed uh, like what was a weapon. See, now, right there, you're a dumbass. Because if you're going to get charged for robbery with uh-huh. a deadly weapon, then well, then use a gun, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because <laughs> <Don't laughs> you know I'm, I'm going to take the tie rod on your hand. I'm going to beat you to death with it. Okay? <laughs> if you have a gun, it might be a different story. Yeah. I might actually give you the money. Yeah. If you come at me with a tie rod, I'm just going to beat you up with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what so, a dummy. So then he goes back in and he go, jumps behind the register and he tries to force it open and he got like 150 bucks in, in which he proceeds to fill up his tank with gas and buy some more crack. At the same place? At like the they same had a place. Gas yeah, because he got annoyed front? that they didn't open the register. So then he went out and got his tire iron and went back in. And then he hit another 7-Eleven, same thing, but this time he went in with the tire iron. And when they went to open the register, that's when he reached over and took, tried to take stuff, but they wouldn't let him. They were like throwing stuff at him and hitting him, so he had to leave <laughs> empty-handed. <laughs> Asshole. Wow. And then the third time, he went uh, to a different 7-Eleven now with the tire iron, but he went in, jumped behind the counter, grabbed the entire cash register, and took it with he him and it left. off the counter with the yes, tire. Yes, <laughs> and he took it with him and left. He's like... What? Yeah, because he's like, what didn't work? What didn't work? What didn't work? Well, so by the third time, <laughs> yeah. he figured out, okay, yeah. I'm just going to use this here tire iron uh-huh. just to pry the whole register off the counter. Yeah. yeah. So wow, it's just ridiculous. Man. All right, well, at least he was, you know, changing up the game. Uh-huh. You know, at least, at least he figured each time he was going to try something new. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. you got to give him credit for that. I know, it was very creative. You know, it was almost like the guy was so dopey and, uh, and he, like he was like very adamant like he, he wasn't trying to hurt anybody he just wanted to take the money and he wasn't gonna hurt anybody so what but the motivation was the crack the crack yeah okay. the crack yeah it's always about the crack smoking a pipe it's crack yeah oh yeah crack is whack oh crack <laughs> go get some crack <laughs> crack is whack crack is motherfucking whack yeah did you know they, I was I was reading this article about the uh, the Dewey laws here in New York they're trying to impose additional uh, legislation because it has become like a phenomenon um, because people are fleeing the scenes of accidents and it's becoming increased. And the reason is, is because since they had increased the penalty for DUIs, yeah. um, it, the, the charge for fleeing is lesser than that. Like it's, you know, like where it might be like a D felony, it might be like only an E felony, depending on what level of Okay, are we talking crime, about, you're going to, you're... You you had an accident. You, you get into an accident. You crash into you're a parked car, or whatever, because right. you're all over the road, right? Right. You 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 get your witch about you, and you take off down the road. And you leave. The rather scene. Than, okay. So now so now someone sees you, right. or your license plate. The best is when, right. when you crash and your license plate flies off the car. But even if they know who you are, but the thing is, is that if you leave, and even if you ma- manage to hide for a day, or even turn yourself in two days later, right. you're not going to have any blood alcohol content to right. show what that you were drinking and driving. And that, so you're just going to say you left the scene of an accident, right. but so you now, weren't drunk, and they right. can't prove otherwise. Right, and so now your charge is going to be for leaving the scene of an accident with, with either you know personal injury or property damage, which is still lesser charges than the Dewey had you just stayed there. Wow. So people now are like leaving scenes of accidents all over the place because of it. <laughs> and they and they're like they can't figure out a way to it like write the law so specifically because there's so many different circumstances under which, you know, like left the scene with, you know, with, with the passenger of the car, they left the scene with an injured person or with no injured person or with, you know, like there's so many different right. Little tiny pieces, nothing. So what they should do, they should just say, if you leave the scene of an accident, we're just going to assume you were drunk, and you're going to get charged with a can. No, no. And in which case, I read these stories, and all that, you know what goes through my mind, right? What? Yeah, what you do, because you're going to get pled down, and you're not going to get punishment for the crime. It doesn't matter. The system, the... Plea, plea, uh, plea. The, plea. Uh, the penalty doesn't charged. match the punishment. That's no... Never no, does. No secret. Oh. Yeah. So what are you not disgusted about? Let's talk about um, something. Oh happened. God, I want to tell you something. So last time, the last episode. Tell me something good. <laughs> okay, Chaka. <laughs> um, She's like, don't do that. So I was ta- I was talking to Pam uh, this week, who we uh, had stayed with Pam and Rick last weekend. Love them. Love them. And we talked about our nice weekend there with them. And I mean, I talked. They're like the nicest people I think that maybe we've ever met. 
Yeah. They're like super nice people, super yeah. generous, right? Very generous. Yeah. The very not just generous like like monetarily or, or tangible no, I'm things. Not mean anything about with that. their like, just like advice and their their yeah. like friendship. That's they're exactly just very what I'm talking giving about. People. They were very they're very interested in helping uh, us advance in our endeavors. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. really really nice. Very selfless. So um um <laughs> Pam listened to the episode. I had said to her, "Oh, you know, we, we gave you props. We, you know, like we were, we, we mentioned you in the podcast, not thinking that I had talked about the fact that she has linty toilet paper." Oh my god! So I, to- I, so I get a text like, "Oh, I didn't oh realize my, my toilet paper was so oh linty. I never no. noticed. I've been using that toilet paper for years." Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. So then, you heard it? and then all these things went through my mind, like, "All right, well, maybe it's got. No, I don't know." Maybe it's anatomy. Maybe it's, you know, like I shave, right? So then, you know, of course, that might lead. And then I'm thinking, no, but the lint is at the bottom in addition to where the hair grows. And the, you know what I mean? Like when you got like a go against the grain, you know what I mean? That's sure to leave lint, you know, if you got linty toilet paper against where you shave. But I'm like, no, it's kind of like all over in the bottom. And then I'm thinking like maybe she just doesn't look or maybe I, it's because I'm looking and nobody else is looking. I mean, like how often do you really look at your junk after you wipe, right? Like examine it really. Like, you know, you wipe, you get up and you go right maybe it's just maybe it's me maybe it's because i'm looking at my junk i think that you are the only person actually like bends so far over that your head is like kind of up your ass so you can inspect it all (laughs) (laughs) or 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 this because think about all the guys out there right who have gone to eat pussy and they have this experience with the TP lint or a piece of TP that got stuck in I there, can, right? I can, I can tell you. From, I've had those experiences yeah. myself. So therefore, I can empathize or what is it sympathize because now that I've done it, I'm sympathizing because I have had the experience. Yeah. Um, yeah, like where you want to check your junk. And sometimes maybe the guy that you're with or girl doesn't want to tell you you got toilet paper in your pussy, right? <laughs> you know, like you might want to check that next time you get out the toilet. You know, so... Um, Do they say it like that? Th- 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 yes. Yolanda? <laughs> <laughs> right, you got toilet paper in your All right pussy. right there, Sinead. What's that? What's going on down there in your pussy? Fuck. So, yeah, what? so... <laughs> Who are you? Do I know you? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, it occurred to me... Well, she said that she's used this toilet paper for years, and it occurred to me, like, maybe it's just me. Like yeah, maybe, maybe it is. But, you know, like I said to you, though, the same thing. If I'm getting paper pussy, your ass had lint, too. Yeah, but no one is doing that to me, or, or especially in that area. What if I wanted to get behind you and, like, stick my finger in your ass? Well, that, Right? And I'd be like, oh, that, look first, at that. That's not happening, certainly not unless I, I am, I'm, I'm, I'll, be like, I, let me, I'll tell you what, just got home, but let me go take a shower. That, that's not going on. Yeah. None, none of that is happening. And if by chance it ever did happen... I'd make sure that that uh, there was no there was nothing down there. Yes. <laughs> yes. So. Yes. Yeah. So I think that you might be a little hypersensitive to the whole situation. Well, um, because yeah, like it's embarrassing. Even like with, with you, like sometimes, like you know, you like I, you don't I, look. I, yeah, I have I have told you on a few. You know, occasions. you got a little piece of paper down there. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I've called, told you on a few occasions. Uh, I'm like, hmm. It still makes hmm. me want to die. <laughs> what the? <laughs> you know what? You know what's really funny. Is that some paper, uh, like a lot of uh, products like that, they kind of have like some like scent to them, right? They're scented, like kind of like powdery smelling. I mean, smell smell a roll of toilet paper next time you'll see. Like some of them are kind of like you could smell like not they, our toilet paper. No, but some of them are scented. They're right. actually right. Okay. So I What's think the fucking that, purpose of that. I don't. I don't really I don't know. know. But there's a yeah. scented. I'm telling. No. I, well, maybe it's just the smell of the paper, but there's something in there going on, right? Because I can tell you that's where I'm going with this story. Okay. That when, in fact, that is present in the rare occasions that it's ever happened, there's I also like you can kind of taste that it's there. Oh, like, yeah. God. So how gross it's, you is know, that? Like when, what is it with the, the, the drug that people put inside a toilet paper and then they swallow it? What is that? What? There's a, there's a drug that people take. That is it like ecstasy or something, and they put it inside of a little acid piece of paper. Or, uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, well yeah, I should know. I think acid. They put it on paper. Right? No, but so. they either they eat, they do wrap it in a little bit of toilet paper and swallow the whole thing. I don't. Yeah, really know it's it. probably something like acid or some sort of form of LSD yeah. or something. Because that they they put like drops of it on paper, and then you can eat the paper. 
I don't right? know if that's you what I'm talking about. Tear off like a about. little tab of the paper? No, I'm not talking about that. All right. You remember those little dots when you were a kid? The candy dots on the on that long strip of paper? It looked like a receipt, like a long strip of yeah. paper with the little different colored dots. Yeah. And if you were like really skilled, you can get the dot off without any paper on the back. Yeah. But normally there'd be like a strip of paper and then you got to like peel it off and you got to... It's not right. a lot of fucking work for All those right. dumb so dots. So now remember... Okay, per, you just remind me. Remember when you eat the dot, right? Mm-hmm. And now all of a sudden like the dot is dissolved, but you still got this paper kind of in your mouth, that's right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Fuck you. <laughs> there it is. I'm just telling you. Fuck that, you. That's what happens. <laughs> but it doesn't, it, it hardly ever happened. I can count on one hand. It's ever happened all the years that I know you. It's still embarrassing. Like, but I want you to tell fault, me because I don't, I don't want you to, like, eat the paper. But on the other hand, I don't want to have a pussy with paper either. That's like... That's you, embarrassing. You got some paper pussy. I mean, like you, like I, I fart strawed with you, like next to me, but yet I don't want paper pussy next to you. Yeah, I can, uh, I, I can. Relate. If you're wondering what a fart straw is, you need to listen to the episode entitled "Don't Put That Back in Your Mouth." Yeah. Um, that episode was hysterical. That is pretty funny. We were laughing. I mean, it, it went from one thing to another, and we were laughing <laughs> For those so of you have no idea what a hard. fart straw is, you can use Don't your even ima- tell them. Yeah, use your imagination. Use your imagination, listen but listen to, to episode. that episode. <laughs> oh, my God. Was that fucking funny? Yeah, so all right, so, so so they listened to the episode. Yeah, and, and so I was that, mortified. And ugh. But they, she said that they laughed. I was um, wondering why when I texted Rick the other day, he never got back to me. Fun, no. <laughs> he did. Yeah. But I wonder... If it, I we'll wonder never, if they we'll had a conversation about it. I wonder <laughs> if they had a conversation about it and if she asked him or not. Oh yeah, I could totally see her doing that. Have you ever, ever seen Lento? Like, Rick, <laughs> could, you, could you come in here for a minute? Yeah, yeah. Pamela. Um, have I ever had paper? <laughs> did I ever have Lent? And he's going to say no because she doesn't want to embarrass her if right. she did. Oh, I'll tell you. Uh, I'll, I'll just tell you. Or maybe you know what? Also, think about this. Pui. <laughs> padding versus wiping. Maybe some people are padding, and I'm not taking that into consideration. I mean, you can get lint from padding, but I'm wiping. Like, oh, good God! It's so, it's so like, it's so involved. It's very technical. Why is it so involved? Why is it so like complicated? I don't know. You just kind of like, like, just like wipe your junk. Uh, These I know. things are supposed to be simple. I know. I know. Like, Thank know, God for the wet wipes. You know, we should be focusing our energy on like solving world peace and like what's yeah. going on with all. Like, we're trying to figure out how to not. Can I get also? I do, I do want to give girls a tip, though. <laughs> this is a pretty in-depth podcast right here yeah. about some very deep issues. For I have some in case good you're advice. just tuning in for the first time. <laughs> I have advice for women. Okay, ladies, this is very important for you to know, especially if like you're just starting to date somebody new. You definitely want to take this. Uh, information to heart. What does the newness have to do? I mean, you should, it should always be new. When, what is when, it like after a couple months you don't care? Okay. Really? Shut your trap. Oh, I got you now. And if you let me speak, you'll hear why. All right. Okay. Yeah, so now you get like getting intimate with somebody, right? And, and if it is like going to be like around for the first time and say you've like had an all day date or, you know, you went dancing and like, you know, you choked your sweating, right? And then like you're going to have maybe some sexual relations later and you're hoping that he's going to go muff diving. But you're thinking, <laughs> ooh, I was just dancing and I was drinking and my pussy sweating. It's going to stink, right? So what you want to do oh is carry those wet wipes with you like the cotton, the, the, uh, the Charmin Fresh Mates, like the oh. ones that we use. Or even the Cottonelle wet wipes. Because when you clean your junk off with those, uh, not only is it clean and it doesn't smell, uh, but it does not have a chemical taste. Oh you do not have a taste. He, so they won't know. All you taste is clean. <laughs> so if you use those wipes, like keep a couple in a Ziploc baggie, even like a snack size Ziploc baggie in your pocketbook. <laughs> That's the emergency bag. Yes. You're out at the club, right? Or you get to his apartment, like, I'm just going to go freshen up. And all he has is like some dry, linty toilet paper in his bathroom. You got. Yeah, well, dudes the, aren't even thinking wipes. about that. I know. Man. But like. Well, dude, you dude, know what? Dude's got, dude's got some hard sand That is no crusty. reason not to clean your junk. Yeah. Right. So what you need to do is keep it, keep it just a few in a Ziploc baggie, snack size Ziploc baggie in your bag. Because if you need to at the last minute wipe off your junk lady so that it doesn't smell of something, you want to get some cunnilingus going on, you need to make sure that you use those because they don't, they don't taste like anything and no one will be the wiser. Wow. He'll just be like, oh my God, this girl smells really fresh. Wow. All those other chicks I'm dating, they stink like fish. Not this one. 
Oh. See? La 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 la. See what I'm saying? La, 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 la. I told I'm you about that my, one girl. I'm putting my fingers. I told you that one girl. I was like, oh. the next day, like six hours later, my fingers still smelled funky. Oh. I was like, God. there's no way I'm going down near that. Really? No really? way. Really? Yep. Really? Stinky. That, oh, that is disgusting. But had oh. she thought ahead, like I do. <sighs> Maybe maybe more would have happened if I didn't get a whiff of that <laughs> finger before <laughs> I. You <laughs> just reminded me of this chick I used to date like back in the eighties, man. I, well, it wasn't for that long, but I was like every time like I I was like doing stuff down there it was like it smelled like like. Poop, like not poop, like potpourri or some shit, like something like flowery something, and, and it was like <gasps> I know what that it is. It was some kind Those of those feminine sprays. Oh, some disgusting. Spray. Yeah. And the only reason why I could never figure out what the fuck it is, like why, why is it There's smell like, like those feminine some powdery sprays. spray or something? Now I don't know about any of this shit, right? But I'm back, I'm, I'm like a kid. You know? I'm, I always just want to get in it. I don't, I don't know what, why, it, what, what, you know, what all of that is. But then I remember, like, like her pocketbook fell over one day, and like, like everything fell out of it. And out comes this fucking spray can. It looked like, it looked like something like FDS. Yeah, something like that. Come it was, it was some spray. sort of like, like it looked like like a can of um, uh, what well, you know, like you'd have like a bathroom spray. Yeah, like, yeah. Like a Febreze. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? So <gasps> she just like shoveled everything back in her bag real quick. But I got a quick look at it, and it was some kind of FDS or something. Uh, so I'm like, see. so uh, now later on, I went and did some investigation, and I'm like, aha. I put two and two together, and now that's I why she tasted out, like a chemical. You, no, she tasted like like powder, like so, like I don't know, uh-huh. almost like a. You know, what you like, can also do is you like go to like the local CVS but then it would and you change. spray some of it, it on your It would change, finger. like it would change, like from time to time, it would be a different. Like I don't know, she must have had a selection of. <laughs> <laughs> she must have had like a lazy Susan in the medicine cabinet. <laughs> She spin that motherfucker like brrrr. It's like oh, the wheel of wheel of fortune. <laughs> okay, what am I gonna use today? Oh my god. For a new car smell? No, see like now like, Pine Tree. <laughs> what the it's fuck? It's not natural. And nobody's gonna think like like they think like that's too much work. Man. Just be clean. Just, Just be clean. Just wash your shit. Yeah, clean what, is what? enough. What, what is with all of this stuff, man? All right, change the subject because it's like ugh, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid now. I, I, I like ugh. Sorry. Oh, no. oh god. I mean, I would suppose that men have, you know what, uncircumcised men. Thank God, men, thank uns- God you don't have any of these issues because you're like the cleanest chick I've ever been uh, with in my life. You just like my smell. No, I just, well, I like everything about you. But if you had any of this stuff going on, I would tell you because, you know, at, at this point of the game, it's like, you know what, you know, you just got to say something. Yeah. 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 You know about that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. How many times yeah. did you not yeah. say something? I'm not doing that anymore. So yeah. if something's fucked up, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> all right. So good news is mm. it's all good. You know, but uncircumcised men, though, too. I don't need to hear about that. Same thing. I'm not interested. Thanks. I'm just, I'm no, I'm just making a statement. Like, for uncircumcised men, you can also carry the Ziploc baggie with a couple of wipes uh, in it, too, because, right. you know, this whole conversation there's just... stuff underneath the skin there that, you know, has a little bit of an odor right, that you might so, want to take care of before you get intimate. Yeah. If you want somebody, you know, push the back of somebody's head down on your dick, right. you might want to make sure it smells good. Is there, just is there anything else that we can talk about other than, yeah. like, the junk odor and paper yeah. lint? And- yeah. Please. Yeah. God. Yeah. Um, I just got home from working my ass off. I just like jump in the shower. I'm. I'm, I'm we're doing it. We're sitting down and like. You got anything else to talk to me about? Yeah, there's a bunch of things. Shoot. Christmas shopping. Give it to me. All the emails are coming out now with the um the Black Friday coming up. Oh, Stop God. all these sales and shit Why like that. Why gotta be about color? Why we gotta talk about black? You're an idiot. <laughs> So my plumber said that to me today that we were talking about black. Who, fart. Eric? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, he's black. Yeah, yeah, he's, oh. he's black. So oh, and he's got toxic farts. I, I, we're talking about Black Friday. Oh God, yeah. I don't. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't even want to go there because that motherfucker. Blew. Well, because you had worked yeah. with him on that job a couple no, years ago, and he blew yeah. up the place. Oh, he, yeah, he. And then the you whole, had him come to this house wrecked, the other day. Wreck the entire job site. Everybody, it was like the whole fucking Kennedy it was, Airport, right? It was like right? someone had pulled the fire alarm box and everybody fled the building. I'm like, what? The, where it is was, everybody going? There was like, a huge, Eric, huge Eric place at Kennedy Airport. I'm like, dude. I'm like, yo, man. I'm like, what are you doing? And then he shows up to this tiny house. You're going to stop me for lost man hours because everybody <laughs> fucking walked up. This is fucked up, dude. We, we got like a 15-minute break here going on with like 10 people, all right? And Who's going to pay said, for that? As soon as he walked in the house... He busted one of those in this little house that you work yeah, on Yeah, the now. other day. 
Yeah. The other day. The first so, day through the job. He so come, like you, like what? You could have just done it outside the car. You wait to do it when you get in the well, car. That's he could have done it outside the no, house, but he waited no, the blast no, once he got in. That's baby, because I'd like to share everything with you. You know how it is. <laughs> I, I don't, I, anything that's going on with me, I need you to be a part of it. Oh. You know what I'm saying? See oh, how that's sweet. That's sweet, baby. Yeah, you see what I'm talking Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll keep that in mind. So, yeah, so Eric said that to me the other day. We were talking about Black Friday. He's like, yo, why is it going to be out about color, man? <laughs> it's like, why we, why we got to talk about black? I'm like, all right, Eric. Okay, Eric. Okay, Eric. Um, so I, I, I now have an obsession, another obsession as a result of shopping on um, the last couple of weeks. I had purchased this. Um, it's a diffu- It's a. It's a aroma diffuser. It makes a. Um, oh yeah, that thing's pretty cool. A mist, yes. So people who like love candles, I'm one of those people. Like I buy an awesome candle and I love how it smells. And if it's one of those nice looking ones with different colors in it, I don't want to burn it because then I won't have it anymore. That is true. We have candles all over the house that have never been lit. You're right. Like, you're like <laughs> it's so pretty. Uh, yeah. Then you won't. I, it'll be gone. I don't want to burn it. It's like I'm a like, waste of money. But it's it's like like eight inches in diameter. Yeah. It would take you three weeks to burn this thing if it but was lit on fire twenty four seven. Yeah. So and. Then that's a problem for me because I, I hate to burn nice smelling candles that also look nice. But that's so, the whole idea. They smell nice. You're supposed to burn But then them. what if you never find it again? Like it matches the room. It oh looks pretty. Gosh. I don't See, want this, to deal with is, that. This is your thing that I think has been passed down from your dad. It's a genetic thing. No. This is like if you have something that you like, this is why when don't you go shopping, it. you go yeah. shopping and you buy like like an Oreo cookie. There's a limited edition. It will yeah. never be out again. Right. And you need 27 packages of it. Yeah. It was like, uh, what was it recently when uh, to, somebody Key said- lime to, pie. No, Oreos. Hostess cakes or some shit. Oh, it was the Twinkies. Right, the I didn't Twinkies, get any of those. Right? Everybody those flipped the fuck out and bought like yeah. 37 cases and of Twinkies. And they spent like the hundreds of dollars on a box of Twinkies. On Twinkies. And then they came back with Twinkies. Yeah, and then like a month later. <laughs> and then like a month Assholes. later. Like, yeah. <laughs> I remember thinking that day yeah. when people were like buying out grocery stores. Yeah. They were like going to like U-Haul and renting trucks and shit to like fill it up with Twinkies. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, man, you guys are. <laughs> yeah. That's you, though. I just realized that that is you. Not entirely. Well, no, but you're 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 a scaled down version. Okay, of Okay. Well, let me get back to what I was saying. I discovered a new way to make the room smell amazing without burning a candle and and like using it up. And also having to, like the candle goes all the way down. This thing, these um, aroma diffusers, it makes a mist. You put, it gives you like a little measuring cup of how much water to put in it. And then you get one of these little bottles of essential oils. There's, I mean, like you guys have seen those little oils, essential oils that smell nice. You get a set, you put like three to five drops into the water. And then when you start this thing up, Right away, this little mist starts to come out of this thing, and the whole room smells amazing, and it also smells across the house as well. It smells so good. I got the deluxe size one. There's two different sizes, one that lasts like seven hours long, and the other one lasts 10 hours long. I'm like, why buy the one for seven when for $3 more you can get 10 hours worth of smelling nice in your house? Or you can bring, bring in your office. It's small. It's discreet looking. It doesn't, it's like, it's totally nice looking. So I got the one for 10 hours, and now I'm obsessed with buying essential oils of all different idea. scents. I just had a great idea. Maybe instead of the chicks carrying around the wipes in their pocketbook, they can carry around one of those things. <laughs> and squat over it. Yeah. Because right. it is all natural. Essential yeah. oils are natural. They're supposed to make you feel yeah, you like certain squat things. Over that thing. You can get like misted. Yeah. There you go. It might work, but then it, it might have a taste because uh, it is an oil or something like I don't well, know. Well, I do have to but, say that when I came home the other day, and I don't know what you had going in there. Remember, I told you it smelled yeah. like patchouli or yeah. some kind. And you're like, "What's patchouli?" And I'm like, "Oh man, I think you, like you did. You had no idea what I was talking about." But that is definitely a very distinctive smell, mm. and it smelled really good. Yeah. I was digging. I'm like, "Where is that coming from?" Yeah, it was and on the other side of the house, all the way on the other side of the house. Yeah, it was amazing in a different room. Yeah, and I, like you just put water in this thing once, and it goes for ten hours, and like, or, or unless you turn it off sooner. And they're not expensive, so I'm like really fucking psyched about this thing. Wow. So because I'm like. Totally. I want to. I'm getting another one now for my office. I'm sure. I'm getting one for your sister, your mother, my mother. See. Uh, See what fuck. I'm saying? I think my mother might be stalking the thing too. Now she's gonna know. <laughs> You she better get stalks one. Stalks the, pod, the podcast. Oh, uh, see, now she's going to know. Because she knew about the boogers on the wall. Since then, I'm like, fuck, she listens to everything now. I know it. <laughs> Why would she listen to that episode only mention? Oh, now know, I know where those boogers came when from. When you were like six? Yeah. 
<laughs> That's another episode, people, if you're new. I was talking about standing in front of a mirror in my hallway in my you like foyer five, when I was like five, five years old. Yeah, I just stand there and watch myself pick my nose and I'd wipe it on the wall underneath the mirror. Oh, that's so nasty. Yeah, I just happened to be talking, mas- talking about masturbating that same episode as well. My mother happened to approach me and, oh, I was always wondering where those boogers came from on the wall. And then I thought, first, oh, first fucking thing I thought to myself was, I talked about masturbating in that yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. blamed her for walking in on me. For, ru- awesome. for fucking ruining my flow for like that, the first 20 fucking years of adult that's life. That's great, man. Yeah, well, that. now she knows what she's getting. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy <laughs> Hanukkah, motherfucker. So um, anyway, so I'm going to put on the uh, episode summary um, for this episode on our website. I'm going to put links to these two fucking things that I'm using because there's all different brands of these things and there's different sizes and different – the one I'm using – is yeah. awesome. It's like it, it gets very high ratings and it's it works very nicely. I'm very happy with it. So I just yeah, want to share my joy queen, with everybody. So I'm sure you've gone yeah. around and researched I wouldn't use the cheap every- one. Yeah. I'll use the oh, good God one. Oh, God knows you're not getting the cheap one. No, no, no. I'm using the that. good one. And not only that, you're going to have seven of them because you need six for backup. Well, I only need like one for the house because it, it works for the whole house. But I want one for my office as well and to give as gifts for Christmas now that Christmas is coming and... And yeah, uh, well, Kwanzaa it, it, de- I de- it definitely came toward the back of, uh, from the back of the house toward the front. Yeah. But probably if you We could have another one in this room. One, like, I'd be happy to buy another. Yeah, well, I'm sure you would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, am, who am I talking so, to? So, you know what? <laughs> While I'm on that topic, people, um, I want to remind everybody that on our website, which is uh, skipandallisonbedell.com or hammerandnailspodcast.com, we have Amazon banners on there. And with the holiday season coming if you guys are going to be doing some online shopping if you could please 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 go to our website and just click the amazon banner and be sure to bookmark it on your internet browser because it's not going to cost you anything extra to use our amazon banner but it is going to help us out a little bit because the um the advertising for them on our website does give us a little bit of a uh, small kickback very small but still a kickback to help us pay for our free podcast you get a small kick we get a little small kick in the dick so if you would, uh, uh, <laughs> if you guys could please, kick to the sack. when you do your Christmas shopping, please remember us to just, just, just click on the Amazon banner and shop through there. It doesn't cost you anything extra and click it helps it. us out a lot. Click. What? Click. Click it. Okay. Click it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that would really help us out a lot. So um, I'm going to put a link for those um, diffusers as well. Yeah. Those things are actually all yeah. pretty awesome. So I, I was, I was, try uh, that out. I wanted to ask, speaking of gifts, I wanted to ask people. What are you getting me? Um, I don't know if I'm getting you anything. You better get me something. Um, I was speaking to uh, or asking the people online if they had any, what, like what was the worst gift that they ever got and mm. who was it from? Um, I got some, a, a lot of people said nothing. <laughs> they got nothing from somebody. Um, the worst gift I ever got for Christmas was a, uh, a big candy cane. <laughs> Like oh, somebody fuck. got me one of those giant, like fucking. It's it's like two feet high. It's about maybe an inch and a half in diameter. If you were to put this thing in your mouth, you'd look like you, you, yeah, were, had, like, right? you were like blowing Santa's elves <laughs> or some shit. I mean, it's like it's a uh, huge candy cane, and it would take you forever to eat it. Yeah, it was too. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't even bite it off. But it as a break present too, it's it's kind of like that's kind of like one of those um, like at the office. Things you throw in the sack, you know, like where you, everybody grabs something like under five dollar uh, gift. That's yeah. not a present that you actually hand to somebody. Yeah, but and that, people- that, that's the problem. It wasn't like a, a, a secret Santa or some no. bullshit. Like no, it was like somebody actually wrapped it up and gave it to me. Oh, as a gift. and what are you supposed to do when you open it? What are you supposed That's to what fucking I'm do when I, you open I, yeah, it? We what do you like, expect yeah, of somebody I, I was, to do I was, when they I open look it? it? I was like, oh, hey. Thanks. Like you don't want to seem not appreciative no, because you should always be gracious when you open a gift. You know what? I don't. I even. I. I. I don't. I would. Prefer, I prefer to give gifts. You know that I prefer yeah. to give gifts and get gifts. It's like people always ask me what I want. And you know what my answer always is. I don't need anything. Yeah. Right? Although you it. love opening presents. Yeah, I don't want anything. Of course, everybody loves opening presents, but honestly, I pr- way prefer giving gifts than I do getting them. Although it is fun and all that, I never know what to tell people to get me when they ask me. And then I, when they ask me, they're like, listen, I'm asking you ahead of time because I want to get you something you want. And I say, I don't want anything. I don't need anything. I'm good. Or I just say, I don't know because I usually don't. And then I wind up with a fucking candy cane. Mm. <laughs> so, so it's really my yeah. fault. Well, let me, I, I have a couple of shitty gifts that you, I can think of. All right. Um, one was uh, on my birthday, I had a coworker that I was very friendly with. I liked her a lot. We, we got along very nicely. She was a, she's a very nice girl. I don't work there anymore. I'm not going to say where it is. But um, on my birthday, she wrapped and gave me 
a, uh, a package of um, like birthday paper plates and napkins. Wow. <laughs> that was the strangest. For your birthday? It, yeah. It's like as if you were having a party and you were going to buy the happy birthday, like celebrate plates, paper plates that was and napkins. Gift. She wrapped it and gave it to me as a gift. That is a strange gift. It was the strangest gift. Because again, when you open the gift, how much... How how happy are you supposed to if be? If I were to get like, that, I'd be like, hey, okay, I know what I'm getting next. The next box is going to be a fucking like, cake. Do you, yeah, like how do you <laughs> feign like the, oh, well, I can't, I'm so like, what do you say? Like, I'm going to I'm gonna use these right away or I love these or these are so pretty or like what do you say to a gift like that and not s- seem like, because first you're dealing with the shock that you're thinking like, are they for real? So wait, you got plates and napkins? Plates and napkins. Okay. I would have been like... She walked into my office and gave me wrapped up plates and napkins, paper plates and napkins. Wow. That that is definitely a strange gift. Yeah. Um, My former um, (laughs) mother-in-law gave me this. uh, It was a mirror. It was the Jackie Martling joke mirror. Ah. And so when you hold the mirror up, it tells you a joke, a bad joke. Oh, yeah. So um, I don't know. How how, are you supposed to like... Always use that mirror, or is that like okay? I've heard all the jokes yeah. in the mirror now. Now I'm, let, me, let me let this collect dust forever. Like, what do you do with it? Yeah. What do you do with that? I, do you regift it? I don't know. And embarrass yourself for having no. given that gift? No, no, no. You can't regift that because if you regift that, then now you are the person that gave the candy cane. Right. <laughs> no, I will never so ever give someone like a candy cane. What do you do like that? That's like that's another thing. Like what? Yeah. Such a stupid gift. Yeah. I don't get it. It's so fucked well, well, up. Well, that that was in that was revenge. That was a revenge gift for you, by the way. Yeah. Well, because you turned her daughter gay. So. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. She she, she, said, she, she caught the gay disease. No, from she you. did. No, she didn't blame me. She said she had told my mother that it was the gym back when uh, uh you know, she started going to the gym and working out that it was the gym that turned her gay. Uh, turned but, her. It turned her. She, yeah. She, she was married yeah. to a dude. As too, if right? it was. It was an wasn't occurrence. Wasn't she married to a guy before she? she yes, actually. She, she was married to him. Okay, right. She was married to a man before right. she even came out. Gay, right. but she, um, her mother thinks that the gym turned her gay. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, is that my chair squeaking or yours? That's uh, yours. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. So that that's was pretty funny. So that was a revenge gift. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> for me, I mean, I, I know she didn't like me very much, but she, I know that she tried to give me good gifts. She was unsuccessful, but I just thought, like, why waste your money on this shit? Right, because like, really, it's a waste. So she like made a trip to Spencer Gifts, and like right, like I that's where she so. was shopping. Like, and, and was again, everything like a gag gift? Not everything. There was a lot of just stupid gifts. Did she give you like um, a fart machine or like a uh, no. like a, like another gag gift? No, there was some other strange thing. Every the I just remember the opening. Eyes that pop out on everything springs. was strange. <laughs> like I just thought to myself, like I would so rather you have not spent the money at all. Like it just seems like money thrown in the garbage because she it's stuff you you'll never cushion use. Cushion with your name on it. You'll never look at it again. <laughs> what? She got you a whoopee cushion with your name on it. I can give her a whoopee cushion oh, shit. with that for you. It's a yeah. real whoopee cushion. Fucking. <laughs> Fart sponge I'm a walking whoopee pillow. <laughs> oh god, what episode was that where you fucking farted in the pillow and then you gave it to me and I fucking laid down and plopped my head on that thing and I got that enveloped was, in your fucking that fart. That was awesome. That was I, I, don't, I don't even know which one that was. That was oh my god, fun. that was pretty funny. What do we got in here? I'm, I'm just I'm just reading. We the have any listener questions? Yeah, That's yeah. I'll, we got questions, but I'm also looking at their comments about what shitty gifts that they got. Oh yeah. Oh, John Arenberg got a shrimp devainer. Oh no. What? Really? Yeah, that's, that's like pretty. getting a can opener. Yeah. I think it's even worse. Than right? a can. You could use a can opener. How oh, often do you eat shrimp? God. Can I tell you once I gave my mother a bottle of Clinique. Um, they have like a moisturizer, a facial moisturizer. It's like their most popular one. And I got her the big bottle of this moisturizer. Right. And instead of her saying, you know, because I, I like to give people things that they wouldn't spend money on themselves like yeah. something expensive or something like larger size whatever something that they wouldn't get for themselves but that they would love to have so i got her this giant bottle of expensive when it was for me at the time it was um you know the price range it was expensive and she cried when she opened it because she thought that was my way of telling her that you need to moisturize because you've got wrinkles oh god okay <laughs> that's what that's what happens yeah Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You just can't win on that one. Yeah. No. I think that her. Well, I gotta say though, the shrimp devainer—that's that's right up there, probably 
about the worst gift I can think of because really, I mean, <laughs> first of all, uh, you know, I, I like shrimp probably as much as the next person, but when I'm going to eat shrimp, I'm probably just going to go get the shrimp that has already been deveined and the tail, you know, is already, yeah, de- yeah just so I can like cook it, yeah. you know, like you can get them from the supermarket. I don't know. Too. I just, I would so never buy that and give it to somebody. you're going through the whole peel and, sh- peel and in any deal and you're cleaning the veins out and all that stuff that kind of a gift should be part of like a basket of things that like if you like to cook or if you like to fish yeah, maybe, that's like one yeah, of many maybe things maybe if you're like a chef yeah. right and, and someone's giving you like a, a, a toolbox full of cool tools uh, as a chef right right maybe, but really yeah um, and actually, in a related uh, thing to what I was just talking about with my mother Darla Reed Crap asked uh, she said that she's been really stressed out lately she never had under um, under eye lines and bags. What is the best under eye concealer or cream? Um, I well, first of all, I would again. It depends on your budget, but I highly recommend um, Olay um, Pro X line. They have a really nice eye cream, and I, I'm also I've also been using Rodan and Fields eye cream, and that works really nice. Um, and concealer, I use. Um, there's a lot of different brands. Baby, fuck you, she asked. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Baby, fuck you. <laughs> I don't think Darla appreciates that. Come on. I don't think Darla... Darla, you need to send him a message on Facebook and let him know that was disrespectful to your question. I'm trying to help you out and answer it. Anyway, just playing. Anyway... Oh, my God. There's just... Oh, God. There's too many concealers. What I can tell you is, people, ladies uh, or gentlemen, if you wear makeup, uh, is that um, I find that the, um, the the products that are the expensive ones, like that you buy in Sephora as opposed to the drugstore, they really there really is a difference. They really are expensive for a reason, um, and um, that's what I'm going to say about that. Great. Um, Thanks. Fuck you, Skip. <laughs> Anything else? <sighs> um... Vinnie Felgen, simultaneously the best gift and worst gift I've ever received is a five pack of boxer briefs. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Underwear. You get that as a stocking stuffer. Yeah, but you know, like that that's like that that's a common gift though, I think. Like, you know, that's like something like the parents get their their kids, yeah. like when they, you know, like underwear yeah. and socks. Yeah. And pa- and parents like, and grandparents yeah, give you that shit. Yeah, it's always seemed like an odd gift though, right? Yeah. Because like that's the shit that you're supposed to buy your kids it's, anyway. It's good for boys or even men, but not, you can't yeah, buy Yeah, but women's. like kids aren't going out and buying their own stuff anyway. So like you're supposed to give that, you're buying their clothes for them. So right. why are you waiting for Christmas for right. them to get new ones? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nice job. Oh, listen to this shit. Listen to this and tell me if it sounds familiar. From Vinny Felgen. My friend's grandmother would have him buy the things he wanted, give them to her, she'd wrap them, and give them back a week later. Does that remind you of anybody? Wow. Really? Does that remind you of anybody? That could start a whole, like, new trend. Does that remind you of anybody? I, I don't know. I'm thinking. No. Who? Mom. Really? Yeah. What? She does that. She always tells me to just get what I want, and then like, and either she'll like, she'll just give me the money for it, or yeah. I've given it to her, and she wraps it and gives it back to me. Oh, well, I never heard her say she'll wrap it and give it back to you. I, yeah. I heard her say, well, why don't you just pick it, go, go get what you like, and I'll give yeah. you, I'll give you, I'll pay for it. I'll give I'd you. rather not even exchange gifts, really, because yeah. that kind of takes like the whole fun of the surprise, you're opening it, or you know, I don't know. Well, I get. The I mean, set. especially even at this yeah. age, I really don't feel I, the, I, the need to get a present for my parents right. or, at all. Right. Right. I can buy, I can buy my own things, and I really don't want them to spend their money. Right. I kind of, right. yeah. uh, I kind of, I th- that t- kind of takes the festivity out of it, don't you think? Uh, I get the sentiment behind it though, because she wants to get you something that you'd like to have. So right. you know, okay. So right. why don't you go? But here, here, I don't want to. Here's go the get money, it. and go get yourself <laughs> something nice. Now, how often have you heard that? Right. Here's some money. Go buy yourself something. Yeah. Nice. I don't even right. think it's necessary. I'm like so over getting money in a card. I don't. It's not necessary. Really? I'd right. rather just like have like a nice evening, like we'll do dinner, like have everybody over for the, the See, holiday. that's always a good time. I think that that's, yeah. that's in fact, we were talking about doing that this year for our family rather than like exchanging gifts and doing all that. Let's, let's do something together. Let's like, let's, right. let's create some memories right. uh, rather than just exchanging gifts that maybe, you know, you may, yeah, you may or may not want. Yeah. Right. Um, David Boyce said, if you had to use a condiment for lube, what would you use? Oh, I think he's talking about like sex lube and not like um like engine lube. 
Well, and then he wrote horseradish because I live dangerously. Well, there you go. <laughs> Answer to that question. <laughs> yeah, try putting some horseradish on your dick and see yeah, what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd, I think I'd probably go if I didn't have anything in the house and I needed something. Like I think I would probably go in the direction of like olive oil. Yeah, that's what I just right? said. I think olive oil would definitely definitely yeah. Uh, work. Yeah, or mineral oil even. But that's not a condiment. But if you, you lick somebody condiment. after you yeah, after con- you've used the lube of mineral oil, then you're going to get the shits because it's also a laxative. Mineral oil is not a condiment, right? Olive oil could be considered oh. a condiment because you could use it for salad, true, salad true. dressing, or whatever, right? I was just so, thinking about if you needed lube and you didn't have any. I think you should use some chunky peanut butter. <laughs> try, Ew. try that out. God, no. See how that works there. <sighs> um, Gordon good. Gray asked if we got with Gina yet. Um, not yet. Trying. Working on that. Working on that. Let you know how that works out there, Gordon. Yeah. John See if per- you can put in the good word for us, all right? John Pergle said, this girl gave me her virginity once. Parents came home in the middle, had to get dressed quick before I could clean up, stained the shit out of my clothes. So Skip and Allison, your guys' first time, dish. We will dish, but not, not today because we're already like just over That's an hour. That's a whole other story. That's a whole other fucking episode. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to need some time for that one. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, God, Derek Berlinski. The worst gift he ever got. Worked for a company that makes over $8 billion a year. Fortune 500 company. It was just before Christmas, and I knew they had been giving out bonuses. I came into work one day, and there was a sealed envelope with my name on it. I was cool. expecting a large check. But what I found inside was a cardboard Christmas tree that you can plant in water and watch it turn into a plant. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Yeah, that's really, that's really sad. Wow. That's very sad. He got a cardboard Christmas tree that you plant... And it actually turns into a Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah. Holy cheesy That's very gift, sad. Batman. Yeah, I mean, like, I appreciate plants and things like that, but when you're expecting a bonus and that's what you get, mm, a check with that might have been nice. Right? Mm. Yeah. Cindy Berlogar said, My ex-husband gave me a garbage disposer. I cried and made him take it back. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> got a garbage disposal. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. There you go, sweetie. Yeah, now but get you know to what? doing the dishes. There are things I, I would like some things like like if it helped me do the things that I do. Right. Like if that was like the one thing we needed in our cool kitchen, right. I would probably be happy with it. But I'm not like when somebody like my mom got a vacuum from her ex husband. Right. She was not happy with it. Not that. happy. No, no, no. That's not a good Especially if you get it for like Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. And if you didn't ask for it or yeah. didn't mention like you I'd get, love to have it, yeah, you got not some good. cleaning products for yeah. Valentine's Day. Not good. You are not getting laid yeah. that night, guaranteed. And then she wrote, my grandma had to circle everything we wanted from the Sears catalog and we always got pajamas. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, let me see if anybody has... Oh, Arthur Green asked, said that he needs help installing crown molding on top of his kitchen cabinets. Yeah. Okay. Any tips on that? Yeah, I can give some tips on that. Okay, so there's uh, quite a number of different ways that you can cut crown molding. You can go through the crown conversion book that has the tables on it. It'll tell you exactly what angles to set your compounding miter saw at. Uh, hopefully you have a compounding miter saw. If you don't, it's going to be a little difficult to cut your crown molding. You can also use a regular miter saw, and you can turn the table at 45 degrees. What I like to do is take the molding and set it up against the fence on a 45-degree angle, just like it would sit up against the wall and the ceiling. And then you can actually use your saw and cut it once it's rested up against the fence rather than laying it flat. Skip, I'm sorry. Keep your hands off the table, please. Cause oh, I... you sound like me now. No, wow, because I'm watching you. you shake the table and then we had all those skips in the shake one. shake you in a second. In the... All right, so rather than laying the molding flat on the deck of the saw, you can tilt it up against the fence so it actually creates a 45-degree angle. And you'll notice on the back of the crown molding, there's bevel cuts on the back where it sits flat against the wall and the ceiling. You're going to want to do the same thing on the fence and the deck of the saw. So once that's tilted up at that 45 degree angle, you have to hold it tightly or some saws come with a clamp. They have like a threaded down clamp that you can actually clamp the molding down to the deck. You want to hold that molding very securely and make your 45 degree cuts. So now when you put your molding up against the wall, you have already made the compound cut. So a compound cut is basically two different angles. You're going to cut a 45 degree angle on one one side of the cut and also you're cutting the 45 degree where the corners of the molding match that's why it's a double angle and that's why also why they're so difficult to cut um, a great suggestion to you without getting long-winded which I've already done on this tip I could talk about this for an hour it's a little bit complicated 
Go on to, uh, believe it or not, there's a million videos on YouTube on how to cut and install crown molding easily. And look for the short ones, like the three to five minute ones, not the 27 minute or the one hour part four videos. Look for the short ones and they will probably show you two or three different methods. One of the easiest methods is the one that I'm describing to you. It doesn't involve any conversion tables or any angle you know, conversions. You can just do it right on your saw. Okay. There you go. You know what, it occurred to me as I was reading that, I think that he was just asking you for help, like to physically be there and help him. <laughs> he just said, I need help with my cat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? You yeah. could just stop me like 18 <laughs> minutes ago? You let me just ramble on about yeah. fucking crown molding? I, read it, I reread it like three times. I'm like, I think he just meant like, go help him. Okay. Well, I just um, got into the depths of compound mitering, so there you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Thanks just, for letting me ramble on I just there, wanna, right? I, I just want to like top this episode off with um, a couple more of these things. Oh, yeah. Um, Eddie Delman, my father's mother, she had no money at all, and one Christmas she gave me a used shirt and a used pizza box with no wrapping. The next day I found out she bought my cousin a brand new color TV. Back then that was huge. I never felt so rejected, but I also realized maybe she couldn't afford that shirt or TV. Hmm. Ah, oh, well... Um, you know what, Eddie Delman, um, I realize who you are now, and I used to go to your place and get my hair cut when I was uh, 16, 17 years old. Yeah, um, small world. Yeah, small world. I just realized who he was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. you know what, my my answer to that is sometimes you just, well, not sometimes, always, you just, you got to be grateful for the fact that somebody wanted to give you anything, and, you know, they took the time to put some thought into it, and you know, not everybody can afford to give gifts. And especially yeah. around the holiday season, it can be very stressful for a lot of people because, yeah. because they can't afford to give everyone gifts. Well, you know what? Um, I'm just going to read this one more, and then I have, a, I have a comment on that. Yeah. Benjamin Metcalf. His ex got him a nice guitar. I got me a fine guitar for Christmas. Fine. A scant four years after my arthritis diagnosis and subsequent surgeries. Oh, God. All I could do was stare at it in disbelief and set it aside. What I do want to say is that also on our website. His ex-wife. Ex. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's like, hey, fuck yeah, you, Ben. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nice on our guitar, website, right? we have a, um, a suggestion. We have a list of things that you guys can get. Um, a, we have a gift list. What is, a, what, a oh, wish yeah. list. A gift yeah, wish yeah, list. Yeah. And I'm constantly uh, adding to it. It's also underneath um, Allison and on the menu and um, under my obsessions. You're going to see under there, there's like a, a gift wish list. I'm also going to be adding to it. And I'm going to add, actually, now that we were just mentioning I have that, my wish list on my page, too. It's the same list. Your stuff is at the top of the list. My, the stuff I was recommending is at the bottom. It's, a, it's just a variety of some some little things. But I was just thinking for less expensive gifts that make good gifts, I'm going to put a bunch more things on there that would make good gifts that are less expensive or even like stocking stuffer-ish or you know, stuff that was cool if you don't have a lot of money. And then I'm also going to put stuff on there that's cool if you do have some money to blow. Um, you know. Yeah, so, because I've you know. Well, there's, there's got there's got to be a full <laughs> range there because, yeah. like I was starting to say before, the holidays can be stressful for people, you know, because yeah. everybody wants to be like the one that gives the good gift. Yeah, but definitely yeah. adds up. And so. I, you know what? I'm, I'm you know you know I'm full of good tips about fucking everything. Just ask our nice uh, Facebook friend Derek because he was asking me the about other day. Fucking everything. Fucking everything. Derek was asking me. <laughs> Not he just said, everything. You got, you got a kitten. Fucking everything. Fucking everything. He got a kitten, and his uh, he's like, oh, yeah, my vet recommended this good food to me. It's more expensive. I'm like, oh, if you don't mind me asking, what is it? And it was like some shit food. So I, I sat down, and I sent him links, 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 links on Facebook to give him links to what better quality food that he can give to his cat because I have experience and knowledge of everything. There you go. So there you go. So right. with that being said, I'm going so, to uh, update our Yeah, if you guys website. check out that gift list also, I got a bunch of cool stuff on there for power tools and all kinds of stuff that you definitely might want to get the man in your life if he's the guy doing stuff around the house, the handy guy, or even if he's in the business and construction yeah. – or he just likes to do some DIY stuff. I got a lot of cool tips and uh, yeah. and cool little gift ideas in there for and people. If you don't see and ranging in big prices, you know, yeah. definitely big, big, range, big range of price. everything from like twenty dollars yeah. up to about a thousand dollars. Yeah, right? and if you don't see something that you're that you think would be of interest, message us. Like right, and the other us. thing is like, ask us. All those things on the list are things that I would like to have too, and that you have. I yeah. think at this point, well, yeah, I actually do have them. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Me gonna, too. I was going to say, if yeah. anybody wants to send me anything, yeah, I mean, it's stuff that I love that if somebody gave it to me, I would no, I have been totally have happy. Already. But they, actually, that's why I came up with those things yeah. on the list because those are things like that, that I have that right. I really like that I would recommend me to too. other people. So we put links to all of them, right? Yep, there's links. I'm going to add stuff to it. 
Don't forget our website is hammernailspodcast.com. And you know what? If you guys like our podcast, um, we would really appreciate it if you would take a minute to go to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. Um, you can choose to or not to write a, um, a little blurb if you, know, if you wanted to write something about us. Um, if you don't have anything nice to say, you know, um, why are you listening, for one? And two, don't, <laughs> Go on there and say something and nice. two, don't bother going to iTunes and writing anything because, you know, I don't understand really the purpose of writing mean things. People can just as easily stop listening. Well, but, um, even more than that, though, tell your friends about it and tell yeah. your friends. If you like listening to us, tell your friends, check us out. Yeah, and we really appreciate that. And if you guys only knew how many people, I mean, because think about it. Like we, we saw, we know like this, the, we, we see the numbers of how many people are actually listening to the podcast. There's like, it's up to four right now. I just want to let you <laughs> and know. That Compared to with how many people communicate with us on online is a huge drastic difference. I mean, like there's thousands of people who don't communicate with us online, and we're telling you that you can reach out because we write back, you know. So if you just happen to be on Facebook or Twitter, or whatever, you just want to say hi or whatever, you know, we write back. We do our best to actually answer you know what, everybody. The, the numbers are growing like pretty crazy, and people are really the word must be getting around because people yeah. are definitely listening, and, and we really want to thank you guys, everybody. For keep coming back, and we really appreciate your support. And we're going to keep doing what we're doing, and uh, hopefully uh, keep you entertained. Yeah, because we're having a good time, and we really, really appreciate all the awesome feedback we've been getting from you guys. So if we're making you laugh, we're making you happy, or if we're just making like a you have a friend in the room, we uh, we're happy. And about And just that. think about how much you learned about paper pussy today. I know. See, I told you I know something. <laughs> there is about some everything. valuable information. You going can on ask right me about you, anything. I can promise you, you won't hear anybody else talking about. Oh, and somebody asked me if uh, if there if there if I ever heard of such, had such a thing like where you have a um, a female having an orgasm in her sleep, and yes, it does happen. Oh, really? Yeah. And with that being said, we wanted to thank you again. Let's work for, on that for coming back. Hey, you, you can't help me with that. Only my dreams, baby. Talk to you later, y'all. Okay, thank you. We love you. Don't Bye. forget. Bye, bye. Digital.